Okay. So here we are. Here's the game situation. Saint has just played Lunar um, to go up 113. Remember, the magic number in this game is 162. So Saint, uh, so now Days goes down, and that certainly cuts the, the lead to um, where Saint still needs a really big uh, hitting play at some look point at this here. Odd board. I mean, this is what I was talking about. I mean, I think Saint's just trying to open lines and, and Billy's just trying to close them. I mean, we see just like some weird staircase going on. There's so much space left in the bottom right of the board to work with. So that's definitely a, a factor that Saint needs to consider. Um, he might play some, he might make a crazy play here. Vert, I don't know. you thinking Vert? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, he kind of needs... He's not going to win with just a bingo here. He's going to need a bingo and a really good draw of either the blank or maybe the X if there's a nice spot for that. So he might be already thinking that he needs to do something a bit crazy here. Uh, playing Vert through the R and Urari, that sets up an E hook, but it also sets up an A hook and an O hook. So the chances that... Uh, Billy has a hook to vert. Huge are chances. Yeah. Huge. So the thing that's is, the though, first thing I'm looking at. But, the thing yeah. is, what we know is that Billy just played days, leaving B I S blank, right? So he doesn't have an A, E, or O on his rack until he redraws tiles, until Wiggles draws his tiles. He does have the blank, though, and I really feel like we could see a really cool, interesting situation. All right, well, he drew the E. I was going to say, um, if he didn't have any of the hooks for that, he could simply just burn his blank and probably win the tournament that way. Yeah, and this is just, this is game over. I actually see in the, oh, uh, boxy the game chat. I mean, come on, that's just crazy. Billy might even win the game now. Yeah, amazing. Put the injury. But uh, we see in the in the game chat, I don't know, if, I don't think we can see it on the on the screen there, but... Uh, somebody observing mentions that Ionium was a hook that was immediately available after the opening play of Onium. And at a certain point, Saint was ahead 175 to 82, and he had imaging on his rack. Oh my God. And imaging Ionium MI and ID would, would have maybe just spelled victory. And that is just crushing to miss something like that. So, anyways. Ouch. Yeah. Now we're back into this position where Saint might even lose. He's definitely lost the tournament at this point. There's no way to make up 192 points here. Even if you open and hit a triple-triple, it won't work. Um, yeah. To his leave of ENTS, that beautiful balanced leave, he drew NNE, which was not what he was going to need yeah. uh, no matter what. So, yeah, yikes. Um and look at that, Lukeman Owalabi in the chat, Mind Games Inc. Congratulations, our winner in the Collins Open of the Virtual Crescent City Cup. Great job, buddy. Lukeman and I um, have become good friends over the last few months. Um, and I got to say, as much as it would have been cool to see Alec come away with the win, I'm also very happy for Lukeman. Look at all the as our winner of the love. Yeah. I mean, one that's of the greats so. in our community. Really excited. Look at the positive vibes that are flowing to Lukeman right now. And all very well deserved. Congrats also to Alec, relatively new to the Collins lexicon and still hanging in there and playing amazingly against some of the best Collins players that have been playing Collins for years and years. And only the bright, only only bright things in Alex's future as a Collins player. We already know he he is currently still the most recent North American NWL champion. So really no surprise. So congrats to both players and certainly to Lukeman for coming away with that win. Love to see it. Um, so Saint plays Nene in this game. Again, this is really... Um, the game's outcome is still hanging in the balance, but we know that Billy Nakamura is going to not lose this game by more than 162 points, and he will be our winner in the NWL Open Division at the Crescent City Cup. Amazing performance by him as well. And this is after two years in a row winning the light division, and we can just see 
the uh, the growth of this player by the name of Billy Nakamura. I mean, this just uh, reminds me of a chess player <laughs> with the same last name. I'm I'm uh, I'm in awe of this performance. I'm really I'm really like I don't know I don't know what to say. Like I to to do that within a the span of a year, it's incredible. So nukes it really come is, down. Yeah. Um, Saint. It goes down by seven points, and he's probably not going to have enough to win the game here. But it doesn't matter. I mean, (laughs) Billy's clinched it. And so congratulations to Billy Nakamura and Luke Minowalabi for their victories in the Crescent City Cup. Alec is continuing to use the uh, send love to Josh as the former impressions <laughs> redemption wants an impression of Hikaru. Uh, we do have the will impression of Hikaru. I think that's hot keyed now, right? Hold on. Yeah, it's a great one. Yeah, so that is there. Um, all right, let's see. I think that should do the trick. I don't think Saint is going to be able to go out here. He'll just have to make a play somewhere and then... Oh, nice idea. Actually, I like this idea by uh, Billy. That's really clever. Look at that. He set up a hook that only he has owed on top of CAD. Mm -hmm. Nice. Nice idea. Okay, sorry. I I was a little dim-witted. If you already said that, I apologize. No, that's it. I didn't say that. That that is a good play. I'm actually going to be right back, folks. Nice. So we'll we'll take you through the um, the end of these uh, the culmination of our action at the Crescent City Cup. We're right at the the cusp of finishing the tournament off and having all of our winners. Um, uh oh, Emmett in the chat says, "Go to my end game." Um, we'll have to see. So this game for sure. Uh, just for the record. Um, the game we're watching between Saint Vestapunt and Billy Makamura. I think Billy is going to win the game outright, but all he needed to do was avoid an 160 point loss. I'm just going to go check on uh, the NWL light division and see what Emmett is saying about his end game. Uh, but we can stick with this game as we see our champion be crowned. Hold on a second. All right, let me see here. Wow, okay, so this really is the end game here, but wait a second. How many points did did how many points did Emmett need to win by? Too too many, I think. So Emmett needed to win his game by a hundred and thirty or forty points. And boy, he's actually pretty close. He's actually pretty close to doing it. Um Hold on, let me see here. Yeah, he's already up 100. So he has to try to figure out a way to get a lot of points on this play. I don't know, man. I think he's going to come up short, but I don't, I mean, he's, I don't want to spoil anything here. But uh, yeah, just for the viewers, um, game in NWL Light. Emmett needs to beat Gideon by 127 points, and he's currently up by 102 points, and he has the ability to go out. I just don't think it'll be by enough. I think Gideon is going to clinch this by a very, very small margin here. Um, and once again, just for a reminder, the um, the Collins division light uh, was already clinched by Terry Kang, uh, Terry Kang Rao a couple rounds ago, in fact, in a dominating performance. So, um, yeah, Alec asks, what did we think about Tolt? I think it's totally fine. I mean, you could have played on two and just tried to play more, you know, traditionally to get back. But I love pushing the envelope and making that S hook that didn't exist on the board. Um, yeah, I liked I liked Tolt. I think it made total sense positionally. And yeah, we see, so Emmett needing to win by 127, wins by 114. So once again, Oof. the Gidfather, let me spam some Gidfathers in the chat. Blam, 
He wins again, 13 spread points, deciding it between the brothers in the NWL light division. Oh, my God. 15 yeah. and 5 plus wow. 798, 15 and 5 plus 774. <laughs> Emmett says that is incredibly frustrating, but ultimately you have to be proud of a 15 and 5 performance in any tournament. I know it hurts. You can think about all the plays that you left on the board, but ultimately you got to look at the record and the results and feel proud. Both of you guys did amazing. Congratulations to you both and especially to Gideon, well done. He's the he is the winner. Um, so, all right, let me see. Do we have any games still going? Almost none, I don't think. A handful of games left. It's already over, Will. Oh my God. Yeah. Um, so Billy came out on top in his game. He just needed to not get blown out. So Billy Nakamura, our NWL champion. Luke Minowalabi, our Collins champion. Gideon Brasowski, our NWL light champion, and Terry Kangrao, our Collins light champion. All four of our winners um, have been determined. Woof. We made it, Josh. Wow. That's it. I mean, wow. I was, I was going to do a, a Hikaru Nakamura impression. <laughs> I was going to attempt one just for... Um, just for the sake of content but uh no the board is gone now um but yeah i think your yours is going to be uh really really great i'm so glad there's a there's a command for it but yes the tournament <laughs> we're done uh 20 games over two days 14 plus hours of streaming countless hours of preparation for the team behind it um and i just sat here and talked so yeah <laughs> i mean congratulations to the winners um congratulations to all the prize winners not even just the people that won um i don't know what they're gonna get but i mean the glory is all you need 